If you are one of my subscribers, then you know that I am a huge fan of the Lenovo slash IBM ThinkPad. Now, while ThinkPads make incredible office machines and workstations, there are a few minor things that bother me about this line of laptops. One of these things is that the BIOS, especially on some of the older T-series systems, really plays it safe as far as the fan speeds are concerned. So thermals tend to be pretty good on these systems, but this is at the cost of fan noise and potentially your sanity. On Linux, you could create a fan control script to set custom fan speeds. On Windows, things were not as straightforward. That is, until the introduction of TP Fan Control. With TP Fan Control, you can create what is essentially a custom fan curve for your ThinkPad, and even turn the fan completely off when you feel like it, though I wouldn't really recommend ever doing this. TP Fan Control works with Windows XP up to Windows 10, and there have even been a few attempts at making a Linux port. If you Google TP fan control for Linux, you'll be able to find a few of these. It works with almost every model of ThinkPad, even newer ThinkPads such as the T480, despite the fact that I believe all development ceased on it back in 2015. To get your hands on TP Fan Control, you can either go to SourceForge or the TP Fan Control site at tpfancontrol.com. Both links will be in the description. Download the zip file, extract its contents, and run the setup. When installing TP Fan Control, be sure to check the box labeled Create an Icon in the Common Startup folder. This will allow the application to start up when Windows starts up. Once the installation has completed, go ahead and restart your computer, and when you boot your computer back up, you will notice that there is a TP Fan icon in the system tray. To access the TP Fan GUI, go ahead and click on this icon, and you will see three different methods for controlling your fan speeds. Selecting the first radio button gives your system's BIOS control over the fan speeds. The second radio button, which is selected by default, gives TP Fan control control over your system's fan speeds uh, via the settings specified in the tpfancontrol.ini file, which we will look at in just a second. And the third option allows you to manually control the fan speeds in real time by hand uh, within a range of 0 to 7, 0 being the fans completely off, and 7 being nearly your system fan's max speed. And I say nearly because you can actually set this to 64, which will 100% max out your fan speed, and I'll demonstrate all of those right now. For most machines, I actually like TP Fan Control's default settings. However, if you feel the need to change the default settings, you can do so by editing the TP Fan Control configuration file with a text editor. To do this, run your text editor as an administrator, navigate to the TP Fan Control install location, and open the TP Fan Control configuration file. There is a lot of good documentation on each parameter in this config file, and I highly recommend reading up on each feature. If you're just interested in changing at what temperature your fans start to speed up, scroll down to the Smart Mode 1 profile. Here you can set custom fan speeds by changing the default parameters and adding or removing lines. TP Fan Control provides an easy way to make your ThinkPad quieter. If you found this piece of software useful, then consider showing the developer some love via a PayPal donation through tpfancontrol.com. Please be aware that using TP Fan Control could possibly cause damage and or shorten the life of your laptop depending on the settings you specify in the configuration file due to excess heat. And that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. And if you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you found this video helpful, consider supporting us through our Amazon or eBay affiliate links, both of which can be found down in the description. We have a Patreon as well. And don't forget to check out the Facebook page. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.